Hi, this is the welcoming video for Introduction to Philosophy for Spring 2021. It's the week 8B session, so it's a half-term, double-time session. Um, my name is Rob. I use he, him pronouns, and I will be your instructor this term. A uh, quick note about my name. Whenever you see me posting on Canvas, it's going to say James Loftus because my full name is James Robert Loftus. And when I took this job 15 years ago, they just read my name off a form and pumped it into the computer as James Loftus. And now I always show up like that. But please call me Rob. There's an introductory form for this course attached to the first exercise. Um, so if you go by a different name than what's on your than what shows up on the screen, or you, like, you would like to specify what pronouns you use, you can mention that there. Uh, you at least have to say something in the introductory form, even if it's just hi in the first uh, week of the course. Uh, otherwise, you will be automatically dropped because you won't won't be considered attending. All right, couple notes. Uh, if you have a disability and need to, an accommodation, you are legally entitled to one, and you should see me early in the semester. Um, you can talk to me. Uh, you should also talk to Accessibility Services. Their contact information is on the screen. In general, a wide variety of aid is available for students for all sorts of uh, reasons, if you need academic or social support. So this includes food and emergency assistance programs, utility assistance programs, child care services, mental health addiction, personal counseling services, transportation, housing, legal, um, and services for victims of uh, sexual assault or sexual violence. All of this is handled through the ARC, the Advocacy and Resource Center. So that's, uh, you email them at arc at lorraineccc.edu. Their phone number is extension for ARC. That is uh, 440-366-4ARC. And you can find them online at lorraineccc.edu. Um, uh, slash arc. The main location is on the first floor of the library. Is that still accurate? There's also something in the business building. That's where um, the food pantry is. All right. Anything else you need to know? Um, no, that's about it. Okay. So uh, the course. There are. Uh, we're reading four books for classics in philosophy. Two of them are, are physical books like this one. Um, the, so uh, for the Analects and the Bhagavad Gita, uh, I've assigned physical books. Um, and we're gonna be starting with the Analects, so this is what you should be reading first. There is also a, a course pack online. Let me show you that. So if you go to the Canvas page for this course, uh, at the top there will be a link for this video when it's done. And then there's a link for the course pack. Um, it says Fall 17, but it just hasn't changed since then. So you can click there. Um, you can save it to wherever you need to. Um, and the course pack contains the readings by um, Plato and Hume. So two of the, two of the books we're reading are uh, just in digital form and they're free. Um, and the other books aren't particularly expensive, I don't think. Um, but uh, yeah, these are free translations that people have come up with that I like. And, and the Hume isn't even a translation. All right. Okay, so the schedule. The uh, course is broken into four units, one for uh, each of the four books we're reading. Uh, so we're starting with Confucius, uh, then Plato, which is in the course pack that I just showed you how to download, then the Bhagavad Gita, which is another physical book, and then Hume, which is in the course pack. So the way I've done the deadlines is the material for each uh, unit is due at the end of that unit. It says week there, but that should be unit. Um, and most of the units are two weeks long. The last one is a little bit shorter just because of the way the schedule worked out. Now, although uh, material is due at the end of each unit, 
I actually have a no fault lateness policy. You don't need a reason to get an extension or turn in anything late. Just email me and say, hey, uh, stuff's happening. I got a new job or I lost my job or I've been evicted or whatever. Uh, and, um, you know, you can get an extension. That's fine. And uh, the only thing is that you need to be checking in with me regularly. So in the first week, you have to do something in the course. Otherwise, you're automatically dropped. And then at the midpoint of the course, if you haven't been doing anything, there's another point where uh, if you haven't done any, contacted me for a week before then, um, and you haven't downloaded anything, and you haven't taken any tests, and you haven't, you looks like you're just gone, um, then again, uh, you will be dropped and I'll send you an email warning you like, hey, where did you go away? It's a compressed semester. So, um, you know, you you should be engaged pretty solidly every day. OK, uh, and finally, there's no final exam for this course. OK, so. Um, yeah, this this actually just reiterates what I said before. Material for each unit is due on a Sunday. Um, it's every other Sunday that says week. In fact, it's got the wrong week. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, so not only is it, it should say unit instead of week, it says week as in not strong. Okay. Um, all you have to do to excuse work is send me an email. Uh, what happens if you don't send me an email, then at the end of that unit, um, the assignment gets a zero until such time as you turn in the unit. That the turn in the assignment. So there are four components to your grades. There are exercises, tests, there's a midterm paper, and a final dialogue. The exercises are just there to help you digest the material. And these are graded on completion. That is, I'm going to ask you a question like, um, what kind of teacher do you think Confucius is? And maybe take a look at this passage to give you uh, a sense of that. And then you just tell me what you think. Um, and if you, you know, write a paragraph and have a, make an honest attempt to think through the issues, you get a full credit. You get 100 points. Um, and so this is just to help you digest the material. Each, at the end of each unit, there's also a test. There are going to be multiple choice and short answer. Um, because we're doing everything online, we're still in the COVID era, even though a lot of us are, have gotten our vaccines. Um, the tests are online, and uh, the tests are open book and open note. I know a lot of teachers out there, when they do online uh, uh, testing, go out of their way to be really... Uh, to observe you closely to be sure you're not cheating. They have a, you have to have your camera on and you have to show your workspace. And I just feel like that's really just too intrusive. I know why you might want to do that for another, other kinds of classes, but this is a philosophy class and your goal here is to think through your view of life. And so I don't really want to just be looming over your shoulder the whole time. So the tests are open book and open note. And I encourage you to take good notes. Uh, in fact, for the first unit, you'll see there are two sheets that you want to download early on. One is uh, for just Confucius is the Confucius terms. And I'm actually going to require you to send that back to me with all your notes on it. Um, and that's another 100 points right there. Um, and there's also another one that's a review sheet for the test um, that's got other things on it, like the historical background. And I encourage you to also use that to take notes, but I'm not going to be collecting that one. Um, the process of taking notes is a process of digestion of the material, and it is itself a process of learning. Okay, so there are going to be two written assignments. There's a midterm paper. It's uh, about a thousand words, maybe a little bit more. Um, and there's a handout explaining the topics. It's more written like a conventional term paper. And then uh, there's a final dialogue. Um, so everything we're reading this semester is in the form of a dialogue. A dialogue is a philosophical genre uh, that sort of crops up independently all over the world when people start doing philosophy. They do 
philosophy in the form of dialogues. When they write things down, they just imagine conversations. And often we imagine conversations between teachers and students. So Confucius, which is the first thing we're reading, is the record of conversations between Confucius and his students. Um, next up, we'll read Plato, which is uh, who does conversations between um, Socrates, who claims not to be a teacher, and his students. And we'll see how that begins to vary on create variations in the format. But in any case, it's all imagined conversations about philosophy, philosophy, and life, the universe, everything, the big stuff, and. Uh, for the final assignment, you'll have a chance to write your own dialogue on a topic that we've been talking about, um, something related to the, one of the readings. And this is a chance to be more creative. All right, so the next steps, introduce yourself. Um, the, the first forum asks about philosophical questions and then asks you to introduce yourself. Take a look at the review sheet and start reading. Um, and uh, start in on the exercises. So this is going to be really fun. Um, I love teaching intro because it is a chance to, for me, I just get in touch again with why I like philosophy to begin with, why I came here to begin with. Um, so hopefully you will get as much out of reading these books as I have. And I, I'll see you online.